Hi and welcome to episode 3 of my Sims 2 Pleasant View Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing the Caliente sisters, Dina and Nina. Um, I did make one change to the Pleasant View neighborhood and that is I added uh, the Pleasant Vista Apartments. And this used to be an empty lot. It was 30 middle lane. But I deleted the empty lot and I added these apartments. I think these apartments match um, really well with the condo district of Pleasant View. Ooh, if I can get over there for you to see. They're kind of in the same style and I like for my single sims to have a place to move in. So we're going to play Dina and Nina today and if all goes well, Nina might be moving out and needing her own place. So this says, was it just coincidence that the Caliente sisters arrived on the eve of Bella's disappearance and is their interest in Mortimer physical or fiscal? So we're going to play them and find out. So Dina is in a relationship with Mortimer and Nina is obviously in a, well she's not in a relationship but she's been dating Don Lothario. And she is a romance sim so she likes to get around. Okay, so I'm going to pause it while we take a look at what's going on. So, Dina wants to marry a rich Sim, and she wants to kiss Mortimer. I'm going to lock that want. Nina, she wants to flirt, meet someone new, get a job, get a job in the dance career. I like to make her a dancer, so I'm going to save that. Um... Dina and Nina are about 23 years old in my uh, Pleasant View world. They've been out of college for a couple of years. Well, Dina has. Nina decided not to go to college, and instead she had a job in the slacker career. If we look at her memories, she got fired from her job in the slacker career, so that didn't last very long. Uh... Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do before I start playing is I'm going to give Dina her college degree. Dina is very lazy, but she did manage to somehow make it through college and pass. Okay, so we're just going to up, this is the bat box, we're going to upgrade sim pre-uni, and we're going to give her... I'm going to give her a political science because I li she likes to work in the law career. She is a fortune sim, so we're going to give her a political science degree. And the reason why I give these pre-uni sims a college degree if I feel like they uh, would have had would have gone to college is because I have a mod called Education is Good, and it limits the promotion. Uh, you can't the sims can't get promoted to a certain level if they don't have a college degree. So this just kind of helps them out if they would have gone to college. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to save her uh, want to get a job in the law career. She, uh, Nina did not go to college. But they are the same age. They're twins. They're both 23. And you can see more about my aging system uh, on my blog at PleasantSims.com under gameplay if you're interested in that. Okay, so now we're going to start to play. So, because I'm playing this uh, in the order... Uh, that you're supposed to play for the scripted events. I am going to get a scripted event here. It says, Dina Caliente is digging for gold, and she wants to lay a claim on Mortimer. Don't wait for him to make the big move. Be aggressive. And then Mortimer conveniently shows up on the lot here. So I'm going to have Dina go downstairs and greet Mortimer. Dina is a notorious gold digger. And she has created this relationship with Mortimer. They have a pretty strong relationship. They're in love. Uh, they have one bolt, but that doesn't really matter to Dina. She doesn't care if she's attracted to him or not. She just wants all of his sweet goth fortune. Okay, so... She kissed him, so she's ready to get married. I'm going to have her just right now. She doesn't care about a wedding. 
She's just going to propose to him right here. In the rain. In her swimsuit. Alright, come on. They're uh, telling a joke now. Okay, here she goes. Maybe. Come on. What are you doing, Mortimer? There we go. <laughs> He's so excited. He said yes. Okay, then. So they're going to get married, and they're just going to do it right here in the front yard. They're not going to waste any time. Go for it. Okay, so when you get married, you have the ability to move in other Sims. So, of course, we want to keep Cassandra and Dawn in the other house. But he is going to bring Alexander, because Alexander's a minor, he's going to bring him to live with him at Dina's house. And here they go. They're just having a, a sweet little ceremony in the front yard. She got a negative memory for that, but she's not supposed to. That's weird. I think that's some kind of bug. Okay, so she's going to take his last name. This is also a mod that I use. So she is now Dina Goth. Mortimer moved in with $56,000. He takes 10% of the house of the Goth, house, Goth household funds. So all the rest of the money has been left to Cassandra and Dawn. Okay, and now we have our next part of the scripted event. Um, and just real quick about that. Um, you have to play The Sims in a certain order to get these scripted events to happen. So you can see episode one, if you haven't watched that yet, where I talk about the order that you need to play the, sim the households in Pleasant View. Okay, so two's company, but three's a crowd. So it's time for Nina to get moving. Use the newspaper to move a sim out. So Nina is going to move out and find her own place, probably at the Pleasant View, uh, Pleasant Vista Apartments. Now, uh, Mortimer's now part of the household, and so is Alexander as soon as he gets here. I think he d he's not added to the family until he gets over to the lot. So we're going to um, focus our attention now on Nina, and we're just going to let Dina and Mortimer do whatever they want. So let's go find the newspaper. Hopefully they come in out of the rain. And... I don't understand why she got a negative memory for getting engaged, but she did get a positive memory for marrying a rich sim. So if if the little square is in red, that means it's a negative memory. If it's in green, it's a positive memory. Okay, and Alexander's here, so he's now part of this household. So he and Mortimer have moved in with Dina in their condo to give uh, Dawn and Cassandra a little bit of a break and some privacy now that they're going to start their family together. So find own place in the newspaper, Nina. <laughs> Alexander's out there splashing. I hope he doesn't get struck by lightning. All right, let's go inside a little bit. Oh, Dina, her hobby is nature. So when you get this pop-up that they're excited that they tried this nature activity or music dance activity, whatever, that is their hobby, uh, their hobby of choice that they're really good at. Okay, she's moving out by herself. And everybody's going to rush out to say goodbye to her. I love that about The Sims 2. Bye. Bye, Nina. Even Angela Pleasant, who was just happened to be walking by, said bye to her. So, Okay, so she's been removed. Uh, she's no longer part of the family. And she's going to be now in the uh, family bin. So we will move her uh, into her new place as soon as we get done playing. Uh, playing this family. But real quick, let's just have a look at Dina's condo. I think that it is so hideously decorated. 
Um, and I think that Dana is really happy that she got all this money. She has uh, $45,000 now. Now, if you'll notice that they did have over 50000 what happened? I have a mod um, called No 20K Handout. So when one of my Sims moves out onto their own, they don't automatically get the $20,000 that um, the game just gives every Sim. Because I think that's not realistic and not very fun. I like this. I like to have some poor Sims, some rich Sims, just depending on how much money their family was able to earn. So when Nina moved out, she took 10% of the household uh, money that was here in this household, and that's it. So she got, I don't know exactly how much she got, um... We'll have to look when we play her, but um, she doesn't get the she doesn't get twenty thousand, and she is, definitely is not going to have enough to buy a house. So that's why we're going to probably put her in an apartment. And I, I also like this for my Sims as they graduate college. They don't just get twenty thousand dollars; they get however much money they had in scholarships and grants or whatever they were able to work for, and that's what they start their life with. They can't just go buy a twenty thousand dollar house. So that's that. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is I'm probably going to remodel this entire condo because I just think it is hideous. The bedroom's okay upstairs. Um, this will be this was Nina's bedroom and this will now be Alexander's bedroom, and I will remodel that for him as well. Um, but I will do that off camera because that's not very fun to watch, but. I figure that need D uh, la, la. Dina. It's really storming there. Dina would take this money that she got and she would probably spend it all. So we're just gonna spend it. We're gonna remodel the condo. All right. So the first thing I want to do is get her and Mortimer to. Oh, Mortimer likes music and dance. This is his hobby. Or no, no, no. I'm sorry. That's not his hobby. He just gained enthusiasm in music and dance. So we are going to get Dina and Mortimer upstairs to consummate the marriage. Now, Mortimer, he doesn't have that long to live. He's 59. And what, by the time this little bar gets to the end, he is going to pass away. So I would really like for him to have another child. And I know Dina wants to have his child because she wants that sweet life insurance money when he dies. And she will get more if she has a child. But neither of them want to have a baby, so I'm just going to have them woohoo. But I do have risky wo a risky woohoo mod, so... They have a chance of having a baby. <laughs> this is their first woohoo. I can still hear Mortimer downstairs playing in the rain. <laughs> Okay, so Alexander only has two days left before celebrating his birthday, and he's going to be a teenager. So, but we'll worry about that later. I got to watch him. Um, and so it looks like everybody just aged up a day. So Mortimer is 10, and that makes Dina 24. This is not correct. I need to change her age uh, in SimPE, so I will do that. And Mortimer turned 60. Okay, so now let's just, they need to wake up. It's too early to go to bed. So Mortimer, let's just take care of some of their needs. Check on Alexander. Another thing that I do when I remodel this condo is I'm going to put a second bathroom in. Because there should be a bathroom downstairs and there's a lot of extra room down here. And before I forget, there is a scripted event where uh, this house will get burgled tonight. So we need to put in a burglar alarm. Okay, Mortimer's trying to go to the bathroom too. Dina's still sleeping. Not really much going on. She wants to get a job in the law career. 
and I like her in the law career so I am going to use Sim Blender which I'm just going to replace one of these decorative trees with the Sim Blender and I am going to change her lifetime one. Oh my gosh just got struck by lightning over here and the rain will put it out you really don't have to worry about that so I'm gonna go to cycle my lifetime one until I get to oh there it is become the law and then we're gonna get her a job in the law career even though she's a lazy gold digger oh oh my god did you see that oh my god Mortimer just yeah. got struck by lightning <laughs> oh my gosh oh and he didn't even have a want for it oh boy that was pretty funny I don't think I've ever seen him get struck by lightning okay he needs to take a bath he's like all filthy <laughs> get out of here Alexander your dad got struck by lightning no 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 go take a bath go take a bath Okay, get go out of here. Here, go watch TV. Go watch a scary movie. That was crazy. I like how he's all of a sudden clean, even though he hasn't got even gotten into the bathtub yet. We've got to take care of his needs because he's he's not doing well. Okay, Dina woke up. She's going to go watch the movie with Alexander. And let's check out their relationship. It's not too bad. Poor Alexander doesn't have any friends. We're going to have to make him some friends. Boy, you really had to go, didn't you, Mortimer? Okay, why don't you go downstairs and serve some dinner? Let's have grilled chicken. So Mortimer has really high cooking skill. I believe, where are his skills? Oh, he likes nature, that's his true hobby. So we'll get him to do some nature things. Oh, skills, yeah, he has really high cooking, so I have him do all the cooking. Dina can't cook anything, she's terrible. Oh boy, he did not care for that. All right, why don't you talk to her? Try to build up your relationship because you're gonna have to live together. <laughs> he just doesn't like her. Okay, you guys need to get out of the way because you're holding up the the food. All right, go eat. Now here, grab a plate, Mortimer. It's way past your bedtime. Okay, so then he's gonna sleep here and we'll take care of this bedroom. All right, put away your leftovers. Watch TV. And we're going to have you look for a job. Law enforcement, no. Entertainment, no. No, no. Okay, there's no jobs for you. Oh, here comes the burglar. Call emergency. Okay, well, the police are here anyway. Get him, get him, get him. Where did he go? Where is he? Oh, no, okay. I don't think he took anything. I don't think he was able to take anything. Alright, 
just get it. Who is that? Jessica Ibadi. And they're just in here dancing away. They don't care that they're getting... Oh, yes! The policeman, Raymond Sintowski, arrested this criminal. And I don't think she got anything. And Dina just doesn't care at all. She's just hanging out watching TV. All right, Mortimer, you have to... I mean, Alexander, you have to go back to bed now. And Mortimer, you guys... I think I'm going to have them Yes, we got a $500 reward. Okay, well that's pretty much it. I'm going to have uh I don't know why I had them relax. I'm going to have them go to bed. Okay, they can't go to bed. So I guess just do whatever you want. And that's pretty much it for uh, getting this family all set up and ready to play. So I'm going to save. And then we're going to go move Nina into her apartment. So I'm going to go back to my neighborhood. And if we look in the family bin, there is... Nina, and she has $11,437, so that's pretty good. It's, she could actually buy this house, but she would have nothing left over for furnishing, and so I'm, we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to have her move into the Pleasant Vista apartment so she can start saving up uh, for something better. I also like this apartment because the rent is pretty cheap. It's like a thousand dollars a week, a thousand simoleons a week. So here we are in the apartment building and let's check out the different apartments. So this one, if you click on it, it'll tell you the rent. So, oh, and I also have a mod where they have to put down a deposit. So she would have to pay thirty-six twenty-five to rent this apartment, and then twelve oh four per week. Um, Forty-nine sixty-four plus eleven oh one a week. I'm trying to find her the cheapest one. Thirty-six sixty-one, one thousand five. I don't understand why the. I don't really remember how it figures out what the deposit should be, but. 1005 per week. I really do like this apartment the best. It's kind of like the it's one of the bigger bigger ones. Twelve that's the that's the most expensive. Twelve sixty five, twelve oh four. This is the cheapest one right here, but it doesn't even have a closet or anything, and she needs a closet, so we're just going to rent this one. And that's going to take a big chunk of her money, but let's check out apartment. So I think this is the first time I've played apartments with this mod, so I'm really not sure. I don't think they get their deposit back. I think it's just gone. What do you think? Nina, do you like it? She's checking it out, I guess. What do you think? You want to move in here? Hmm. 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 She didn't even look at the other rooms, but... This is the landlord, so I guess he's trying to sell it. Okay, let's rent it. 
Yes. We will rent this apartment. Okay. You will charge your first week's rent of $1,100. Rent will be due every Monday. Oh, she does not like him. Okay, dude. Get lost. She's got to move in. Okay, so this is her new home, and it just needs to be decorated. So, she doesn't have a lot of room, and she doesn't have a lot of money, so we're just going to give her some cheap stuff. And she really likes the color pink, so I'm going to try to decorate her room in pink. And I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I will be right back when I get it decorated. Okay, so I've given her a little bit of furniture, not too much, just enough for the basics, and she's got about $1,300 left. I've also given her a, one of these Monique's uh, hacked computers, and I use these so that my Sims can have bank accounts and they can invest their money. Um, so she's going to go and deposit some of her money. I think I like to keep enough... Uh, for her rent out so I think what was her rent 1100 so she can go ahead and deposit like $200 and some of her neighbors have shown up to welcome her to the apartment so the townies uh, will come and rent these apartments so it looks like Benjamin Long is renting this apartment Brandy Letourneau is here and Marissa Bendette is here I have a mod so that it Picks, it takes the townies to rent the apartments instead of those, uh, I don't even know what they're called, the people that it would normally uh, choose for the apartments. Instead, it just chooses the townies. I like that better. Because I like for the townies to have a place to live, too. So she's all settled in. She's got her bank account. She's got her apartment. Um, oh, she needs a phone. I always forget to give them a phone. I'm just going to put it right here by the back door and then we are also going to have her find a job as soon as her, um, as soon as the newspaper comes. Actually she can find a job on the computer, I forgot about that. So find a job and the computer has five jobs instead of three jobs like the newspaper has. I also eventually will build an unemployment office in town where Sims can go and apply for any job they want and they can also apply for welfare. But we'll talk about that whenever we play Brandy Broke. So, no, she doesn't want to be a slacker. No, no military. And I actually did not leave enough for her rent there, but hopefully she'll have a job by next week and she'll have some more income. Nope, I'm going to speed this up. No, nope, no. So she wants to be in the dance career and there are no jobs in the dance career available. So she'll have to wait. Let's see what her lifetime want is. Okay, that's not going to be it. I'm going to take the Sim Blender and I really only change the lifetime once for these beginning Sims because they usually have like these weird randomized ones. Um, in the future, like as my sims age up, I won't change their lifetime once. Unless it's something really stupid like raise 20 kittens. Like, I hate that one. Nobody's going to do that. She hates that plant because it's so cheap. But we have to change your lifetime once so you can be a dancer. I'm just going to keep trying. Oops. There it is, world-class ballet dancer. So that's what she's going to be um, as soon as we can get her a job. So she's all moved in, and she is ready to go. I need to play her through to 6 o'clock so that she's the same age as her sister. And then I will change her age also.
when they move into a new lot, it automatically starts Monday at 8 a.m. I should, probably should have waited to move her out until 6 p.m., but we'll just play her a little bit. Watch her get settled into her apartment. So She might go down and meet some of her, um, her neighbors. They have a nice hot tub and bar down here. It's a really good place for single sims, especially single romance sims like her. She wants to woohoo, so... I know what we could do. Since she wants to woohoo, why don't we ha invite Dawn over? Um, he just got married, so hopefully he can get away. And come and visit her, because they are secret lovers. Nope, he's not home. He must be at work. Okay, well... She also wants to flirt, so why don't we go and get in the hot tub and see... Let's go have a drink, actually. See if anybody comes out. I saw Benjamin Long down here a minute ago. We can always knock on his door and ask him if he wants to come out and have a drink with us. She's just going to stand there and have her drink all alone. It's kind of sad. <laughs> okay, she's getting in the hot tub now. And I want to look around. I don't see anybody around. Why don't you go introduce yourself to Benjamin? Here comes Angela Pleasant again. She's everywhere these days. Alright. Oh no, it's raining. Oh, is she going to go inside the apartment? Oh, she is. Okay. So, I love, love, love in The Sims 2 that you can visit your neighbor's apartments and you can actually go inside and hang out with them in their apartments. And their apartments will be furnished and everything. It's really awesome. So, she's introducing herself to Benjamin. Let's see. Let's check him out. See how you feel about him. Oh, she likes... She, well, she farted hearts at him, but she has a negative, uh, bolt. So I'm not really 100% sure what that means. Um, what are her turn-ons and turn-offs? She likes education, and she likes hard workers. Wow. She does not like young adults. That's strange. I also have a mod that um, gives me some additional turn-ons and turn-offs, so that's why if you see ones that you're not familiar with, like education. Um, I guess Benjamin is not educated or a hard worker, so she's not really that into that, but she's a romance sim, so maybe they can start something up since he does live right under her and it would be like super convenient. Benjamin, that was awful. Shorts and sweater. The shorts and sweater combo. It's just awful. All right, they don't seem to really be getting along that well. <laughs> but I'm going to try to get her to flirt with him. She can't yet because she doesn't know him well enough. Um, let's ask him, what's your sign? <laughs> Okay. Ask him, what are your skills? He's good at mechanical and body. Still can't flirt. Okay, talk to him some more. Oh, they both like boats and travel, I guess. That's something. See, you've got something in common. Oh no, he didn't like that. He doesn't like the weather. Okay, that bored him. Tell him a joke then. She's talking about politics. Oh my gosh, it's really storming out there. Fish? Oh yeah, he likes fish. Okay, now they can really... I think they're getting somewhere. She still can't really do flirt with him, so... He's talking about family? 
books. She's talking about books. They both like books. Um, art. She really likes art. Music. They're hitting all like the major talking points here. Oh, network. Oh, I wonder what he's going to say. When you get that networking thing, usually the sim like has something to offer your sim, like a promotion or a discount on stuff. So let's see what he says. I run my own business, and we could really use a smart sim like you on our team. Nina, how would you like to start working in the law enforcement career as a desk sergeant for me right now? This is a great opportunity since this is not an entry-level job. Hmm. You know what? She wants to be a dancer, but she hasn't got her br big break yet, so I think she's going to take it. She's going to take it until she can get a job as a dancer. Okay, she starts tomorrow. All right. Nina, good for you. Okay, let's see if we can flirt with him now. Well, wolf whistle, does that count? Oh, it counted. She wants to ask Benjamin on a date. Oh, where, where am I going? Oh. Oh, they've got a pretty good thing going here, but I don't think he's going to say yes to a date yet. Let's just keep chatting him up. What are her new work hours? Monday through Friday, 9 to 3. That's pretty good hours. She needs a body point and a logic skill point to get promoted. Flirt. She still can't really do any flirts with him. Give him a friendly hug. Let's see if, oh no, he didn't like that. He didn't like that. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to give her her uh, aspiration tree. So she has romance. I'm going to give her the whole romance skill, skill tree. This smooth talk is really awesome for uh, increasing relationship. Or if they if they piss somebody off, they can like um, fix it really fast. And she's not really that into work. I'm going to give her the... Uh, needs tree. Okay, so let's try to smooth talk him. I don't remember where it is. Smooth talk. And let's watch what happens to their relationship. It went up like 10 points. So, let's see. She can flirt with him now. Let's see how it goes. Maybe she's got him all buttered up from the smooth talk. He looks like he's into it. Yeah, he's totally into it. Okay. Oops. Oh, she just aged up. So now she's the right age. Oh, he didn't like that. Give him another smooth talk. Okay, they're still not friends though, that's really weird. But anyway, she's getting hungry and it's getting late, so she's going to finish with you later, Benjamin. She's going to go home and make something to eat and relax for the rest of the night. Um, she doesn't have any cooking skills, so let's just have, like, a sub. <laughs> I don't want her to burn down the apartment building. I have a lot of custom foods. And this is one of them. This is the Italian sub, which... That looked kind of weird, but it looks pretty good when it's finished. Still just storming away in Pleasant View. Okay. So 
So she's just going to watch a little... Oh, she, you could have finished cleaning that up first before you went to the bathroom. That was weird. Okay, so she's just going to watch a little TV before she goes to bed. And that's going to be the end of uh, this episode. So we got um, Mortimer and Dina were married. Mortimer and Alexander moved into Dina's condo. Nina moved out into her own apartment. And she's getting settled in, getting to know her neighbors. Um, hopefully the next time we play her, her relationship with Benjamin will increase. And she might see Dawn again. Actually, before we stop, let's just see if we can call Dawn over real quick. But if he's not available, then she's just going to call it quits for the night. Oh, he is. No, your friend cannot come. Okay, so never mind that last part. We're going to continue until we're going to have a late night visit from uh, Dawn. And then it'll be the end of the episode. Oh, he's here. Okay, don't be making a TV dinner. Your lover is here. No, 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 no. You can eat that later. Oh, my. Okay, so she wants to woohoo, so this is going to be a really good way to, um, ask Dawn to join you to fulfill that want. Dawn is just her booty call. She just calls him up when she wants to woohoo and gets him to come over. Mm. Alright, so go ahead and woohoo. Obviously, she didn't get pregnant the first time that they woohooed in the hot tub, but there's always a chance because of my risky woohoo mod, which I love. Okay. And that's that. So uh, now Don knows where she lives, so he can come and visit her at her new place. And they have plenty of privacy. Nobody will see them together here since he's married. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for Nina for today. And in my next episode, we are going to be playing the Brokes, Brandy Broke and her sons. So that's going to be fun. Um, if you want more information about my sims, I have all of their bios and their um, family trees on my blog at PleasantSims.com. And I also have all my gameplay rules there, as well as links to, to many of the mods that I use. Not all of them, but many of them. Um, so just, I'll put the links in, in the description. And if you like the video, please subscribe, like, leave a comment, and let me know how you like it, if there's anything you want to see. Um, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.